Hi guys! This video is going to be a tutorial for a mermaid look. It looks like this. So if you want to know how I did this, stay tuned for the tutorial. I'm starting off by creating the seashells and I'm using this. This is a mold for making soap that I got at a craft store and the shapes that I'm using today are these three right here. So in order to put this down on a stable ground, I'm using this big bowl and I'm just placing this on top. And then I'm going to pour my liquid latex into the mold. All right. This is going to take a couple of days to dry since the molds are pretty thick. So I'm just going to leave it out like this and then they will be hard and ready to use. I'm starting my mermaid look off by mixing a special made foundation. I'm using my regular foundation, um, this is Pro Moisture by Might. Mixing it with a lilac corrector and some purple pigment. So I want a sort of grayish looking skin. So I'm not worrying too much about my ears because I'm going to wear a wig. Setting the color with the powder. Don't need too much. Alright, it's time to add some scales to my face and I am using an old pair, <laughs> really ripped pair of fishnet stockings for this. I'm using the same purple pigment that I mixed into my foundation. Just grabbing an old big brush like that, you need something that you can just push the color with. It's time to start working on the eyes and I'm breaking out my Amuse Diamond palette for this. These colors are great for a aquatic look because they are very high shine. So I am going to go in with these blues and probably a bit of silver. Taking a blue eyeliner and taking that blue into the waterline. This is Too True Twist and Line Eye Definer. Also taking that close to the lash line so that my skin tone doesn't poke through here. I want the eyes to be surrounded by blue. Mascara. Using two sets of false eyelashes. These silvery looking ones by NYX. And these huge ones by Stargazer, these are going on the bottom and these are going on top. Moving on to the lips using that same liner and I'm doing tiny sort of geisha lips. As you can see I did make sure to get foundation on my lips as well to help blot out my natural lip color. In case we don't want that to shine through. Just throwing some clear lip gloss on that. Next up I'm going to glue the prosthetics to my face. I painted them silver using the silver from the Makeup Forever Flash palette and I'm going to glue them to my face using liquid latex. Add some more silver to completely cover them up. And I'm also putting some rhinestones on my face. Alright, one thing remains. Thank you guys for watching this uh, mermaid tutorial. Hope you enjoyed it. Stay tuned for more Halloween videos. Thanks for watching. Bye!